On February 3, NASA announced the first particles of light have made their way through the entire telescope, and the telescope has detected the first cosmic light that traveled through the telescope when it began its three-month alignment process. This is the closest scientists have come to their ultimate goal, to use the web to perceive the universe as never before. The achievement was confirmed by the near-infrared camera, one of the science instruments on board, which captured the photons. This data is critical for the next step towards Webb's science mission and towards getting actual images that people on Earth might marvel at too. These NIR cam readings enable scientists on the ground to start aligning the telescope's 18 mirrors to form a fresh lens on the cosmos. The images taken by the JWST will not be pretty during this period, but they will serve the purpose of preparing the telescope for science, according to NASA. NASA noted that the telescope was assembled by a team of scientists and engineers from various organizations, including the Space Telescope Science Institute and Ball Aerospace. The agency noted that the objective of the telescope is to study the universe and its various components. We are about to start a new journey of discovery together, and in time we'll get to witness Webb's mesmerizing images. If all goes well from here, astronomers will have a wealth of new data to look forward to that could redefine how we understand the universe forever. Subscribe to you curious for science news and videos, and continue watching this video to know all about how the web was powered on. Since the arrival of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope at its orbital destination January 24, the mission operations team has successfully powered on all of the telescope's science instruments, including its primary camera, the near-infrared camera, or NIR cam, built by a team of researchers and engineers led by University of Arizona astronomer Marsha Reek. Turning the instruments on is the first in a series of critical steps, that also includes turning off heaters to begin a long cool-down process for the instruments and aligning the telescope's mirrors over a period of months. Launched on December 25, Webb is NASA's top science priority, and who Arizona astronomers played key roles in designing and developing the telescope's infrared eyes. NIR-CAM and MIRI, which stands for Mid-Infrared Instrument, will allow Webb to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before and collect light from the earliest stars, galaxies, nebulous stellar nurseries, planetary atmospheres, and more. When NERCOM reaches about minus 244 degrees Fahrenheit, likely later this week, Webb's optics team will be ready to begin meticulously aligning the telescope's 18 primary mirror segments to work together as a single mirror surface. NASA is targeting star HD 84406 to begin this process. It will be the first object NERCOM sees when photons of light hit the instruments powered on detectors. However, it won't be the first image that is shared with the public. That object has not been chosen yet, and NASA will likely release the image this summer. It's an exciting next step following a highly technical and anxiety-ridden launch and unfolding. If all goes well from here, astronomers will have a wealth of new data to look forward to that could redefine how we understand the universe forever. Continue watching this video to know all about Webb's first target. NASA is finally making moves to boot up its James Webb Space Telescope, according to a NASA statement, a historic moment and the culmination of billions of dollars spent and over three decades of work. The observatory recently reached its orbital destination, called the Lagrange Point 2, L2, a point at which it can keep the Earth exactly between it and the Sun at all times. Now, the team is preparing to power on the telescope's many scientific instruments and finally achieving first light. It won't, however, jump straight into making observations, as aligning its instruments could take months, according to the agency. The telescope will have to first turn off the heaters currently keeping its instruments toasty, which will allow them to reach their extremely cold operating temperatures. Its mid-infrared instrument, for instance, is designed to observe the middle of the infrared spectrum at just 6 Kelvin, or minus 449 degrees Fahrenheit. The instruments have to be this cold since warm objects radiate infrared light, or heat. That light could end up messing with the instrument's observations. The team at NASA is now preparing to align each of the 18 primary mirror segments, a painstaking process to ensure they are all focused on a single target. It's an exciting next step following a highly technical and anxiety-ridden launch and unfolding. If all goes well from here, astronomers will have a wealth of new data to look forward to that could redefine how we understand the universe forever. After reaching its orbit, at the second Lagrange point, L2, an area of balance between gravitational forces of the Earth and the Sun, NASA revealed its first target. The first target of the NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is a Sun-like star in the Great Bear constellation, but it is just to check the mirrors are properly aligned. 
The $10 billion telescope is months from being ready to begin operations, despite arriving at its final orbit on January 24, as it has to cool down and undergo weeks of calibration work to ensure the 18 segments of the main mirror work as one. Starlight, star bright, the first star Webb will see, is HD84406, a sun-like star about 260 light-years away, the space agency wrote on the at NASA of Twitter account. While it will be too bright for Webb to study once the telescope is in focus, it's a perfect target for Webb to gather engineering data and start mirror alignment. To align James Webb's mirrors, NASA will be pointing the telescope at HD84406, a sun-like, type G star that lies some 260 light-years away in the constellation of Ursa Major. Engineers will take 18 separate, out-of-focus images of HD84406 using each of the mirrors, from which a computer will determine exactly how each must be oriented to bring the telescope into focus. The seventh magnitude star, outside the level visible from Earth with the naked eye, but visible with a good pair of binoculars, sits near the Big Dipper constellation. It, the star is a sun-like G star in the Ursa Major constellation, which can be seen by Webb at this time of the year. This is just the first step. HD84406 will be too bright to study with Webb once the telescope starts to come into focus. But for now, it is the perfect target to begin our search for photons, a search that will lead us to the distant universe. Some experts have speculated that the delay in releasing the calibration images could be due to the risk of misinterpretation of raw data and felt it was important for the team of experts employed by the Webb Consortium to view them first. Once it completes the first round of calibrations, using the isolated bright star, NASA will move on to other observations to test different aspects of the telescope. Compared to its 30-year-old predecessor, Webb has the ability to see objects nine times fainter than Hubble could, allowing it to peer further back in time. It isn't a direct comparison though, as Hubble was more of a visible light observatory, whereas Webb looks in the infrared. We cannot wait for the first images. What about you? Drop in your comments. And do not forget to subscribe to YouCurious, your daily dose of science news and videos.